Hi, Georgie Burns back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp sets Flowering Rain Boots and I used the watering can, flower pots and the flowering stems. For the sentiment, best of luck, I used Honey Bee Home and I used that best of luck there. In fact, I never got it out. So bit of fluff or paper on there. Oh, I'll have to get a don't know if that'll fit on there. Oh it does. Right. Card. I have got a card base of Ten and a half by five and a quarter. Scored at five and a quarter to make a square. And it needs burnishing. I know it's an odd size card, but my daughter accidentally bought me a pack of these cards when I asked her to get me some cards, card blanks, and she bought me this size. But it don't matter. I'll use them. I have got a load of other colours here. Some gorgeous grape at five and one eighth by five and one eighth, and that will go on there. A piece of basic white at five by five. Another piece of gorgeous grape at one and a half, and that needs trimming off. Oh no, wrong bit. That's for something else at one and a half by five and one eighths to go across there and a piece of the marble paper that was in the celebration at Christmas before Christmas and that is one and one eighth by five and three eighths no five and one uh, five five inches yeah same as the white I have a piece of smoky slate. I can't remember what this one is. Four and a quarter by two inches. And a piece of the grey marble at four and one eighths by one and seven eighths. And it goes over like this. And then I need some scraps of white for the tulip for the stamping that's what all this is so let's stick all these down I don't think I've ever used the darker side of the marble paper anywhere because I prefer the light a bit. But I think that's always the case on paper. You prefer one side to the other. Just pop all these on together. We're all getting glued flat, so it doesn't matter. That 
just goes across the middle like that. Let's straighten it, yeah. And then this one. goes down there now all we've got to do is our stamping and our cutting out so let's move that out of the way bring in our colours right I'm going to do a basic grey for the watering can. It's a bit grey that. Let's try that. That's better. We'll use that one. Right. Cinnamon slider for the um, pots. And we need two of these. So one there. Some peppers as this is for the foliage. Now that is not going to go on there. Let me another scrap of white. Greenery, and now we need. Gorgeous grapes for the flowers. And we need Versafine for the sentiment. Best of luck. And now we have to cut all this out. So, one, two, in the dies to go with the um, stamp set.
so this set's quite easy to line up. One thing about having long plates, you can get cut them out quite more than cut more than one out at a time. Flowers, one pot. No, oh, need that. Cut this other pot out. Now we've got to cut this watering can out. <coughs> Sorry if you can hear me wheezing today. I know I can hear myself wheezing. Watering can. And the other pot. Right. Right, this, this the block needs to be glued on there and then cut round so I'm going to do that now I wonder if I could do it this way There we are. Our sentiment done. Now, the pots. Before I put them down, I have to join them. I've got one on its side and one standing up. And I'm going to glue them together like that. Right. The greenery, I'm cutting, I'm separating it. And round that off so it do not look like I've separated it. That doesn't matter because I'm going to cut them down. This one I cut down about there because they've got to go in that pot. On the side here with two tulips in it, on it and this one goes there but I also take off this white piece because 
because I don't want that showing. So let's just glue that on. All I'll do is put a little bit of glue across the bottom and sit that so it looks like it's coming out of the pot. And the same with this one. Then the flowers also get separated. And these two sat on there. So move them on there. These ones on there. Now they'll have dimensionals on. Well, that doesn't, but that does. That's fine. Right, this one, I don't want any, um, dimensionals on the spout. So let's just stick these, not on there, on this one. That goes on like that. That goes on like that. And then this will sit there. these backings off. And as I say, each time, great use in dimensionals, but it's a pain taking all these off.
forgetting I put the lid on. I think I need to put some washi tape or something over that lid so I can see it's on. Right, and I've got these gems here that I'm going to use. Now I've got a thread through them. I've got a four, I don't want four, I don't want three. place them um, there. And that is my card dump. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday. No, a Monday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.